Hi, I'm Sarah Ansbury, and this week I want to talk to you about how to cover your court efficiently uh, when you're playing with your partner. So if I'm in my proper position and my paddle is out in front of me, one, I want to remind you, it's farther in front than you think. What actually creates the ability to turn from side to side is creating space in front of your body, putting your weight in your toes. So I put these little three marks just as little visuals, and what I want to do is protect all three circles, okay? So if the ball is coming to my right, I'm not just going to open my body like this. I'm actually going to kind of turn, allow my weight to turn with it so that my hips are turning and my paddle stays in front so that when I push the ball, I can turn and stay in this direction as well. So remember, I've got 10 feet of space that I have to cover. So if you're shuffling laterally when your toes are in a forward position, it's going to be more difficult to make contact out in front but more importantly, you lose your kinetic chain. So your rotation and your kinetic chain comes from the toes and finishes up in your hands. So let's just look at a little bit of this. I've got a partner and I'm just gonna work on staying out in front. And if the ball moves, I'm turning my shoulders as a unit. If I have to step, it's a very easy, comfortable step. Okay, so it doesn't mean that I have to hit and reset and hit and reset. If I'm hitting off of my left leg, that's the leg that I'm pushing off of. So now when I'm finishing, I'm pushing from there and I can go and be ready for this shot, a backhand, or I can now turn and finish in a forehand and it stays in front of me. One of the key factors in turning from side to side for a forehand or a backhand is actually your non-dominant hand. If your non-dominant hand is hanging out down here, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to rotate your body. So by engaging your entire body, your shoulders actually work together and it keeps the paddle out in front of you while still maintaining a nice solid position where you're not getting caught into a defensive spot. Stay in offense and stay in a forward position.